write a song, we'd like you to take the, the song Amazing Grace and add something to it. Would you, would you take the hymn Amazing Grace and, and do something, add something to it for the movie? And I was like, not a chance. There's no way. It is only the greatest song ever written on earth. And I'm not going to be known as the... I said, I'm not going to be known as the punk who ruined Amazing Grace. There's no way. And they're like, well, I said, what's the movie about? And he said, well, it's about the life of William Wilberforce. And I was like, blank stare. And I was like, bro, I went to public school. I have no idea who that is, William Wilberforce. That's a cool name, but I have no idea who that is. And they're like, well, you should go read about him. And I, we're making the movie about him. He was a guy who led the abolition of slavery around the world. And his friend was John Newton. And John Newton was the, who wrote the, actually wrote the hymn Amazing Grace. That's why we're calling the movie Amazing Grace. And, you should just go read a little bit about them and see if something doesn't just come. Some, some, some kind of song, something for the song. I was like, okay, don't hold your breath. I will. I went and started reading about these guys. Check this out. You guys, I'm sure you're way ahead of me. Um, I did not know this, but the guy who wrote Amazing Grace, John Newton, was, he said was, he was the captain of slave ships. He spent many of his days living a horrible, horrible life. Um, he started, he made his living off the backs of other people. He did horrible things to other people. Kind of in the history of the world. And God saved him in a really dramatic way. And he spent the rest of his days preaching the good news, preaching the freedom of God. And he said one day in one of his messages, he wrote this poem now. Amazing grace, how sweet the sun that saved a wretch like me. Can you imagine what it must have been like? Of all the things he had seen, of all the horrible things he had done to other people, writing those words for the first time that saved a wretch like me, I had no idea that for hundreds of years people would sing this song. I started thinking about that. I started thinking about those, that, where that song came from and that whole issue in the world and these songs. And I started thinking about how Jesus came to free us. I started thinking about how he came to set us free. All of us were born into some kind of slavery in our life, the sin that holds us down, and the stuff that holds us down in our lives, and it's got us chained. And these words just started coming. My chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior, has ransomed me. And like a flood, his mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. And I thought, man, I'd love to sing that. Maybe that works. Maybe that works for him. I don't know. And, and I was looking for that really famous last verse, you know, when we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, the one that everybody knows by heart all over the world. And I couldn't find it anywhere. And I saw this little footnote that I was reading that said, the, the, the last verse, we've been there 10,000 years, was added 100 years later to the hymn. And I thought, wow, some punk has already come along once and ruined the song and everybody liked it. Apparently everybody likes it. So I thought maybe there was some kind of License, some kind of freedom there. So I just wrote this little chorus. As we sing it, as we sing this refrain in this place, just let it be freedom in this room of people who know what it means and that, that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For you have been set free from all those things. Set free from God. This is different tonight. This should be different tonight than just singing songs with the radio. This should be different than singing the latest Pop 40 hit. But we're actually singing to a God who is alive and well tonight, who knows your heart, who knows your every, every hill, and who knows your name all over this place. And so as we sing this, let's let it be a beautiful sound in this place. For people who know what that is, will be set free, know what that means tonight, for those chains to be gone. Just fill up this arena. Fill up this place. There's thousands and thousands of people in here. It ought to be the most beautiful sound that's ever been in this place. Let's sing this last verse. This is the original last verse. The earth shall soon dissolve lights. The sun for
Thank you.